Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and today we're looking at the Thermoscientific Models 80i, 80i Mercury Analyzer, and the 81i Mercury Calibrator. These are part of the Thermos Mercury Freedom system for uh, SEMS monitoring, mostly at coal-fired power plants. And that's where here in Alberta we have quite a few coal-fired power generating stations, and all of these have um, some sort of mercury monitoring system. Majority of them have a uh, mercury freedom, just like these these two instruments here. There's, so there's a probe on the stack with an umbilical coming down to a shelter, and these instruments will sit in a rack inside the shelter and monitor mercury 24/7. So on the left, this is the mercury analyzer, ADI, and on the right, this is the Mercury Calibrator 81i. So this calibrator will do a daily generation of mercury vapor to span check the analyzer over here, the mercury analyzer. And it typically generates about 10 micrograms per cubic meter of mercury and then sends it into this analyzer to do a, a daily span check. So looking inside this mercury analyzer model 80i, I see some similarities. If you're familiar with the 43 ISO2, I see, I see myself of some similarities. There's an interface board, and the bench looks a bit like the SO2 bench. It does have a photomultiplier tube mounted right on the top, right on the top of the bench here, and then it has this long bench for the mercury reaction to take place, and it has a PMT power supply, just you know, very similar. We've seen this before in other I series analyzers. And it has the pressure sensor and the flow sensor and the solenoid banks on the side of the unit. So what happens, it does have an ultraviolet UV source, light source. It sits in here, it's a, it's a lamp. It's a constant source, it's not a pulsed or chopped source. It's just a constant UV light source shining into the bench. And then there's mirrors in the bench that direct the light source into the reaction cell. So it's an absorption of uh, UV light by the mercury vapor, and that's how it's detected by the photomultiplier tube that sits on top here. And on the side there's a detector to measure the, uh, the intensity of the UV lamp over here, that's inside of here, so it just monitors that light intensity of that lamp, like a reference. And there's a glass orifice, there's two glass orifice on this unit, here and here flow control. And again, there's the solenoid bank, there's a cooling fan. This is the high voltage power supply board right here. That high voltage power supply board just simply provides power to this uh, high voltage power supply right here. And a bit better look, there's the input board coming off the photomultiplier tube. So the signal measured by the uh, Photomultiplier tube is sent through this cable into this input board, which is then translated through this interface board here to the front panel display. Right there. So pretty straightforward, just simply UV light absorption directed into the reaction cell, and any mercury vapor present absorbs UV light picked up by the photomultiplier tube right here. And on the other side, it's very similar to the ice typical I-series, it's got the DC power supply, and then over here is the uh, processor board, motherboard, and electronics for the output as well, down in the back here, so electronic output boards. Looking around the back of the unit, they have connections for span, this will be coming off the calibrator, there's vacuum zero air, there's the uh, umbilical connections that come off the stack for mercury total and mercury elemental. So these two lines will be coming off the umbilical coming down from the stack, the, uh, the mercury sample probe. Electronics, very similar to the I-series, Ethernet port, uh, inputs, digital outputs, I-O expansion if you want 4 to 20 milliamp out, pretty straightforward, RS-232-45. So that's the 80i, 80i Mercury Analyzer. And 
in the rack beside it will sit the, or above it, will sit the mercury calibrator. And this unit will generate mercury for the 24 hour span checks. And the way it does that is there is a mercury material inside here. It's a, a coated, could be like a coated pellet, I believe. I've never had one of these open, but it's a coated material, coated with mercury. And when they pass air through it, certain flows of air and dilution air, they can generate a known concentration of mercury vapor. And the way they do that, it's just like the dilution calibrators you've seen up in the field. This one has a 20 liter per minute flow controller and a 50 cc per minute flow controller. So this is the, the uh, dilution air and this is the air to dilute the mercury vapor. So this is the mercury vapor diluter right here. So this is the air that will go in and dilute the mercury vapor. And this is the dilution air that will mix with that and send out the 10 micrograms per cubic meter, which is pretty standard setting for uh, daily spans in the mercury systems on these units. They have a pressure regulator just to control the incoming air pressure, not to overpressure the uh, flow controllers. Switching valves in the back for your daily zeros and span control. Uh, a couple of cleansing scrubbers. Another interface board for connection to the flow controllers here. And coming around the side, standard DC power supply. And again, processor board, motherboard, and an option for output electronics as well. So looking at the back, it has cal gas out, zero air out, so you can do your daily span or your daily zero. So the cal gas out will go over to span and the zero air out will simply go over to zero. And of course you have a probe connection in the zero air in for the dilution air as well. A couple of cooling fans and the standard electronics. Digital inputs, digital outputs, RS232485. So together, that's the back panels of the mercury analyzer and the mercury calibrator. These are again are part of the thermal scientific mercury freedom system. Um, we have these around quite a few of the plants here in Alberta, just for the uh, coal-fired plant, power plants. So again, it's a mercury material inside of here that is simply air is diluted across it to generate a known mercury concentration, typically 10 micrograms per cubic meter, and that is fed into the mercury analyzer over here. And that's how they do the daily span checks. Pretty straightforward. So there's a large rack in, this, in the shelter, you're not seeing a bunch of other stuff. There's a probe controller that goes with this. Uh, there's an umbilical heater as well at the top of the rack. So all this sits vertically in the station and runs together. These all communicate with each other to maintain the daily zero span controls. You can control it remotely from the control room. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will respond. Thank you.